Hello everyone. I'm here to answer a question that someone just uh, sent me on Facebook and the question is can a woman pour libation or go to her altar during her menstrual period? Okay. The answer is when you have your period, you are vibrating extremely high. During menstrual periods is when women are most powerful. This is why they tell you not to go to some shrine, not to go to, to sacred places when you have your periods. For many generations, they've been telling women not to go to sacred places, not to touch certain items, spiritual items. But they don't tell the women why they are not allowed to do that. Hmm? Some people will tell you that it's because uh, you're unclean, it's because... Um, that is the abomination of, they give different rules why you shouldn't touch anything during your period without actually knowing the main reason why. <laughs> the main reason why they don't want women to go to sacred places to touch many things is because you are like a magnet when you are on your period. You are like a magnet. Hmm? And any spirits that you go close to, you magnet their energy, you are absorbing, you are taking in their energy. And anything you touch, mm, it you will take on the energy, good and bad energy. Mm? So whatever you touch, if you touch a, a sacred uh, item, spiritual item, it's going to reduce the efficient, efficiency of that stuff. The power will be reduced because you have already collected uh, some of the energy. No matter how much a spirit is powerful, apart from the, the path creator, the creator gods, mm, you're going to absorb their energy, you're going to take in their powers. Apart from taking the power too, the menstrual blood, the energy destroys. Hmm? It's, as it's coming out, it's destroying negative energy. So if it's a bad charm, it will destroy it completely. <laughs> this is why sometimes when someone is under their menstrual period and then they put a charm or something on the way you know, or the door part of someone, they will ask, like when I was growing up, <laughs> they will say, they will ask, who is a woman here that has menstrual period? Please give us some of your blood. They will use it to anoint the place, it neutralize the power of these spells. There are many things that you can use menstrual periods to do. Hmm? It's powerful. So if you're going to your altar and you used to call upon spirits in your altar, it means that you're going to reduce the power of those spirits. You're going to reduce the power of, and the, the, the efficiency of spiritual materials that you have there. They will become uh, less powerful and you yourself, you become powerful, more powerful without knowing. And also it means that even if it's a negative energy, you're collecting it. This is why you have to be careful. Hmm? The energy you're absorbing. When women are under their menstrual period, from where I come from, the women have to separate themselves from my public because you're very sensitive to absorb negative energy you can get sick very easily but during your period is when you're most powerful to manifest prayers but that doesn't mean that you should go to sacred places you have the power within you as a woman your feminine energy is extremely powerful because you're a living goddess so you should stay in your own place without going to your altar unless you have a, a general altar that you can go to even when you have your period. Because mm -hmm. me, I have several altars and there's one altar that I, I go to even when I have my period. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can pray with your personal spirit because the spirit that are with you, that you're born with, that are with you 24 hours, they are with you even when you have your periods. So this spirit, you can pray, pray to them without going to touch those sacred places or if you're going to your altar don't touch something stay not long distance uh, stay long distance don't call upon other spirits that you used to call upon before call upon the spirit that is with you so, okay they will still they will work powerfully in fact when you're on your period is when you're so powerful that when you give orders to spirit they respond fast because yourself you're a spirit you're connected to the spiritual realm, more powerful. The veil between the spiritual realm and the physical realm is, you know, is out, is open when you're under your periods. You become sensitive during your period, okay? So anyway, 
If you have a sacred altar as spiritual things, don't touch it because you're going to reduce their powers. Hmm? But if you have a general altar as where you work during your periods or when you don't have period, then it's your decision to do that. Otherwise, you just stay by yourself, you know, and do your prayers. Okay? Do your prayer by yourself. <coughs> Another prayers that you can do apart from your personal spirit girl, when you have your periods is Mother Earth. Hmm? Not water. You cannot go to water when you have your periods. Because also, water is a very powerful energy. She can... <coughs> her energy is going to affect your menstrual periods. It can even make you have... Uh, start bleeding non-stop. Mm? Water energy is so powerful. That's why they say don't go to water when you have periods. Because of the effect, the negative effect that you're going to have when you go to water not because you're unholy or you're dirty or you're um, on pure okay the same with altars and sacred places or spiritual things there's some spiritual things you shouldn't touch during period if some of you that are married that your spiritual that your partner is a spiritual person that they have some spiritual protection you shouldn't even cook with cook for them mm? or even lie close to them because as soon as you go close to mm, someone that has um powers you Take any power. Okay? So Mother Earth, you can go to Mother Earth, the Earth that you're marching. When you're on your period to do rituals, to do libation. And it's more powerful and she accepts it. Every, every, <laughs> she accepts it more than you can ever think of. People don't know about that. There are many things that women mm, can do with Mother Earth. Because she's feminine energy as well. Her energy is not similar to water energy that will affect your menstrual period. But rather, it like, makes it more powerful for you to manifest things during your period. So you can pour libation to your personal spirit, the spirit, spirit that is with you, not other spirits. Because you're going to make them less powerful. Hmm? And some spirits will feel offended that you're calling them when you're under your period. Even your ancestors, when you call them, when you when they can see that you're under your period, uh, some of them that are very traditionalists, they will not like it. Mm? So spiritualists, they put these rules and regulations, but they don't really know why. Mm? They, they put all those um, rules and regulations why a woman shouldn't do certain things during your, your period. So don't call upon external spirits when you're on your period because you're going to take in their energy. Mm? Don't do some spiritual work. So certain spiritual work you shouldn't do when you're on your period. But when you're on your period, there, is, there are some spiritual work that is extremely more powerful when you're on your period to do it. Like to destroy charms, to destroy negative energy, something to work against witchcraft attacks. Many things. It's during when you're on your period, those spells, some of those spells are best during that time. So yeah, you put libation to your personal spirit girl. you can go to mother earth connecting to mother earth but don't call upon the other spirits because you're going to take in their energy don't touch sacred items because you're going to reduce the efficiency your power you're going to reduce it but when you're on your period the creator gods you can be able to talk to them <laughs> because i've asked i've done spiritual consultation i asked the path creator gods when i'm on my period can i do certain things can i connect with them all of them, they said yes, because they are God, you understand? And then they are, your personal spirit, they are with you when you're on your period or not. Those ones, you can connect with them. Hmm? So libation you can pour, but you have limitation on what you can do for your best interest because you don't want to attract negative energy to you or you don't want to reduce the power of um, spirit that are helping you or working for you because if you do that, then you're going to need to energize the spirit again after your period. Mm? with sacrifice because they need energy to work and you you're going there to reduce their energy there are many things to do when someone is on that period maybe i have to bring some programs for women for that because it's very powerful so yeah you can pour libation but it has limitation you can pray in if you have a general altar but if you have an altar that you always invite other spirits then avoid the authors, you know, when you're on your period.